Okay, folks, a quick story with this one. This is a, uh, <clears throat> a role played by one of our great songwriters, J. Fred Coots. And uh, the nearest I could date this role is that it was probably issued early in 1918. And uh, I'm only aware of uh, another role by Fred Coots that was a waltz played forehand with Frank Meld and a uh, foxtrot title. Uh, this is his only tune which happened, uh, recording I should say, that happens to be a very good rag. Uh, so good in fact that I've questioned over the years as to whether it's possibly James P. Johnson. Uh, James P. Uh, recorded of course for Aeolian Corporation and his last role, I believe it was 203-275, Twilight Rag. It came out in uh, November or December of 1917. Now this role serial number is a bit higher, but uh, I've always felt that uh, it's, uh, it's very likely that if J. Fred Coots actually wrote this tune, which of course the historical information is in front of us that uh, it's uh, composed and played by him. Uh, if, he, if he is the composer, and he certainly took a great deal of inspiration from James P. Johnson, because to me personally, it sounds like another James P. Rag. It always has. Uh, there's a bunch of copies of this floating around. Uh, my friend Richie Groman recut it years ago. Uh, so I think it's it, it might still be in the Keystone Roll catalog, in fact. But here we go with Piping Rock. Maybe another James P. Johnson uh, recording. If so, great, but we'll never know. Close to what James P. did on Steeplechase Rag, you know. So who knows? 